Today we'll be diving into the top 10 machines designed by the Renaissance polymath, Leonardo da Vinci. From visionary flying devices to innovative engineering marvels, Leonardo's inventions continue to inspire and amaze. A man who was miles ahead of his time, his designs are not only incredible artworks in themselves, but a testament to the engineering and design abilities of what can only be described as one of the Western world's greatest ever thinkers. Number 10. The Aerial Screw Often regarded as a precursor to the modern helicopter, this ingenious design was intended to lift off the ground using a spiral rotor. The concept was based on the water screw. Although it was never built in Leonardo's time, the concept demonstrates his forward-thinking approach to flight and aerodynamics, the propeller being a screw in part. At number 9 we have the 33-barreled organ. This multi-barreled gun was designed to provide rapid-fire capabilities by arranging 33 small-caliber guns in three rows. Each row could be fired in quick succession, potentially revolutionizing battlefield tactics with its increased firepower. It is in essence a renaissance machine gun. Coming in at number 8 is the armored car, also known as Da Vinci's tank. Designed in 1487, this vehicle featured a circular platform with cannons and was intended to be propelled by human or animal power. Its conical shape and reinforced exterior were meant to provide protection while delivering offensive capabilities on the battlefield. The intricacies of the design would have made it completely impractical, but as a concept it was way ahead of its time. Number 7 is the self-propelled cart. This early design for a mechanized vehicle was powered by a coiled spring and featured a steering mechanism. It is considered one of the first concepts for an autonomous vehicle, showcasing Leonardo's ingenuity in automating movement. At number 6 we have the diving suit. Designed for underwater exploration and sabotage, this suit was made from leather and included a mask with breathing tubes connected to a float. It is said the design was for the Venetian navy to defeat the much stronger Ottoman navy. Although it wasn't built during his lifetime, da Vinci's design was remarkably ahead of its time, anticipating the modern frogman. Number 5 is the parachute. Da Vinci's design featured a pyramid-shaped canopy made of linen with a wooden frame. His notes claimed that it would allow a person to jump from any height without injury. Modern tests have confirmed that da Vinci's parachute would indeed work. In the year 2000, British balloonist Adrian Nicholas jumped the, the parachute to da Vinci's specifications from 10,000 feet, proving his remarkable understanding of aerodynamics. At number 4 we have the giant crossbow. This massive siege weapon was designed to hurl large projectiles at enemy fortifications. With a span of 27 yards, the crossbow's size and potential power reflected da Vinci's interest in engineering solutions for military purposes. It was designed when he was working for Ludovico Sforza, the Duke of Milan. Number 3 is the Ornithopter. Inspired by the flight of birds, this machine featured large, flapping wings powered by a human operator. Inspired by his studies of the wings of bats and birds, it, although it never flew, the ornithopter embodies Leonardo's fascination with achieving human flight and his detailed study of avian anatomy. Today people have built ornithopters, you can even buy ornithopter drones, proving the concept drawn out over 500 years ago. At number 2, we feature the robotic knight. This mechanical figure, designed around 1495, could sit, wave its arms, and move its head and jaw, using a complex system of pulleys and gears. It was originally displayed during a celebration hosted by the Duke of Milan. The robotic knight is considered one of the earliest forms of a humanoid robot, highlighting da Vinci's innovative spirit. Finally, at number one, the bridges. There was the self-operating bridge and the bridge to span the Golden Horn. The self-operating, portable, retractable bridge was designed for military use, allowing armies to quickly deploy a bridge over rivers and then retract it once crossed. It needed no screws or nails and fastened together using logs with notches. The heavier the load, the more secure it became. Made to be lightweight yet sturdy, this design reflects da Vinci's talent for practical engineering and strategic innovation. The bridge over the Golden Horn in Istanbul was designed but not built. 
the same design was used to build a footbridge now standing today in Norway. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through Leonardo da Vinci's top 10 machines. We hope you've enjoyed discovering the brilliance and creativity of this Renaissance genius. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more explorations into the world of innovation and history. Until next time, goodbye.